I'm Andrew Jenkinson, the Caravan Expert, and welcome to my Caravan channel. Swift base cam, it's a limited edition, and I've always liked the base cam. If anything, it was possibly slightly over engineered, I think, into, in certain terms. I'd like to see it a little bit more of a plainer design and a little bit less weight, and also a cheaper price. But anyway, having said that, the base cam's done very well and it sells to a lot of people who don't normally like caravans because they think it's not a caravan, but sorry to this point, it still is a caravan. So, the new one has got some slightly more jazzier. Uh, finish on it, a bit of orange on it, and they've given it a bit of a freshen up. Um, and I'm going to come and have a bit of a look around now and, uh, and, sh and just sort of show you through it. Um, what I do think it does miss is a sibling, I think it needs a full birth version, and I'm sure that will come at some stage, but it needs to come pretty quick. So I shall now give you a quick tour. Well, the kitchen is quite well laid out. I've liked this charcoal effect, it's quite good. And I quite like this as well, it's quite a good idea for the for the plugs. It's a bit different. You also obviously get a window there by the kitchen and you get a fridge freezer plus as well you get a full oven and a three burner hob. Good size storage locker. But you don't get, of course, you don't get a microwave in here. But you can always take one, of course, not a problem. And you go around here, got the control panel. And some switches and TV aerial socket. In the rear of the base camp, because obviously it's a rear door, is the washroom and it's quite impressive. Uh, there's a cassette to fix loo in there, electric flush, and a decent sized sink and a mirror, and a large roof light. So it'll be quite bright in there even on a dull day. Plus you've got some storage here as well, just above, and somewhere to stick your towel. So a decent sized washroom. It's pretty basic, but it's functional. When it comes to storage, of course, you've got the wardrobe here. And again, it's not a bad size. And this is also where the table goes. And also the status TV aerial is also placed here. So you can adjust this, etc. So plenty of room there for two people. Now, of course, it doesn't have conventional lockers, it has these material type storage things. Uh, again, that's something you've seen that on Continental Van some years ago. Um, but it works quite well in here, and of course, you've got this big main window, which is quite good, and uh, that lets quite a bit of light in. And you've got a small front table here. And you've got some more lockers above on this side, and lighting is not bad, although I do feel it could do with some lighting in the middle. Just above this lounge area, because it is a bit on the dark side in all fairness. So it could do the light up there. When it comes to bedtime, you can have this as two singles, or you can make this up into a double. And this is very easily done, because that just comes and stretches out, and pulls out like so. Same on this other side, and that makes up your double bed. There's blown air heating through here of course and that will keep this van really snug and warm. It's a great van by Swift actually and I think they've done a great job when they brought this out a few years ago. So quick, quick, brief ride. Right. It's quite warm in here. I've obviously put my coat on as well. So what do I think of the base camp? Well I think the base camp's a great little tourer and I think it's a shame actually nobody else has come along with such a design 
from a UK manufacturer. I think everything fits well. There's good storage here in the kitchen area. Knives and forks, etc. And more storage there. And overall, I think it's a great van. They put a, uh, now they've put a, a window in the, in, the, in the door at the back, so again, that lets in more air, uh, sorry, more light, etc. So consequently, the Swift Base Camp, this limited edition, which is just sort of just upgraded, um, is good. It comes with all the spec that you need. It's around about 19,000 quid. And if you're looking for something slightly different, the Base Camp could be just up your street. For me, I think it's a good idea. I'd like to see a stripped down version of this, something a bit lighter, and make it into a four berth. And in fact, I think that's what this just needs. It just needs a four berth sibling. And I think that completes the set. In the meantime, I'll see you later. And please subscribe and also comment. Bye for now.